Howdy y'all, it's KJKilla25 here, coming back with another Moonlight video, Moonlighter video. <laughs> um, I hope you guys liked that new intro, that one is specifically for Moonlighter, I did make other intros for other different uh, games, but um, I worked really hard on the uh, Moonlighter one especially since it is the first series I'm doing on this channel, so... I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, when we left off last, we had just created our new weapon, uh, weapons I should say, because we have the spear and the bow now. Um, we also expanded the shop to have two shelves instead of just one. Um, and let's see here, oh we also got some of this stuff that uh, allows us to get more money from people. Uh, oh, well, you know what, I, I forgot, I forgot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I look good. Perfect. All right. It's a good. It's a good thing. See if I don't if I don't check, then I don't know if I look good while I'm while I'm doing videos. And then if I don't look good, then you guys won't watch. It's like proven fact. So we did get some new people, uh, the hawker and the retailer. Um, we haven't bought them yet because they're not, you know, needed at the moment. But, uh, since it is daytime, do we have any items to actually sell, or no? I'm, I'm not sure if we have any items to sell. We don't. We have no items right now. Oh, wrong button. So, because we don't have any items to sell, it looks like we're doing a day raid into the dungeons. Which isn't a bad thing. The dungeons are actually somewhat easier during the daytime. And uh, this will allow us to get some more loot, hopefully. And we, our goal today is to actually get to floor two. So, hopefully we will we'll be able to get to floor two and uh, possibly get some good loot from it. And make a little bit of money. But, uh... I do appreciate, um, I see, I checked right before I started recording that the episode 1 has, uh, a lot more views than episode 2, so I'm not sure if there's something I need to improve to make you guys continue watching. Wow, okay. Maybe perhaps not dying right off the bat. And, uh, but if there's something that you guys would like to see to help, you know, you guys actually watch more than one episode, please let me know. I would greatly appreciate the feedback. And we could definitely work something out, you know? If there's something specific you guys want to see in this series. Ooh. then, yeah, we, we can certainly make whatever you guys want to see in the series happen. This is not a, uh, you know, me making videos. This is, you got, oh, wow, okay. Uh, making videos, it's, you know, you guys are the viewers. You guys are really the ones in control here about what goes on in the channel. And, um, if there's something I'm doing wrong or something you guys want to see more of, then... Don't be afraid to leave a comment down below and say, hey, you know, KJKilla25, I hate your voice. You change it. I'm like, alright, uh, I'll try. And, uh, you know, I'll do whatever I can to make your guys' uh, viewing a little bit more enjoyable. So you guys see why I like the spear now, right? I mean... I just stand back and light them up with pokes. All right, let's see here. We'll go. In, we'll go up. Uh oh, this is one of the ones with the. What? I thought that was not supposed to allow them to hit me. But okay. Oh no, it's not actually. I thought that the uh, chest was in the goo, which makes it sink and not be you'd not be able to get it when when it 
when you take too long in the level, but I guess not. We're gonna keep going up. Ooh, sparkle! You don't have to jump towards the sparkle, just so you know. The jumping towards the sparkle is irrelevant. It just jump into the blackness whenever you see the sparkle um, anywhere on the on the in in the darkness down there. So just because the sparkle was in the top right corner up there does not mean I need to jump up to the top right corner. I just jump into the darkness. Why can I not read this book? They are like moths, like moths to the flame. I tell you. These adventurers, so many attracted to the dungeons, so many to only feel the burn. Uh, sorry. Luckily, if you pass out in the dungeon from exhaustion or pain, it spits you out. Eventually. It's a messy ordeal. No one really knows what happens. But one eventually wakes up outside the dungeon, with only small traces of slime nearby, and, well any injuries they may have accumulated inside. Yes, some have left the dungeons to never return, but plenty have stuck it out. Many enjoy the thrill of the fight, many looking for the big payday. There really is so much more to those dungeons, though. To these dungeons, though, I think is what it actually said. And I'm blind and can't read. Uh, let's see here. So we need to go right down here. Hopefully f the healing pool is right here, because... Oh, wow. We're going to heal up just a little bit because I'm... I figured I knew it as soon as I healed, I would find the pool. Heck yes. Look at that. Easy peasy. So the sticks, super cheap, don't want them. Uh, what do these cost? 15, super cheap, not necessarily. Uh, that, don't need it. What is this? Flying golem egg? Oh, I know what this is. Okay, we're gonna put that there. So, w little tip, if you do die in the dungeons, you keep everything in your top section here. Everything else that you have, however, uh, drops when you die. So, if there's specific items you really, really want to keep, you want to put them up in your top inventory area. Uh, and that should be it. There we go. Okay, so perfect. Alright, well we made it to the second floor of the dungeon. I should have probably gone back and healed before actually entering this area, but, you know. YOLO. <laughs> so, let's see here. We'll probably uh, finish this dungeon run after going through the second floor of the dungeon. And we might do a day in the shop. I'm not sure. It depends on how much time we have left after doing these dungeon runs. And I say dungeon runs because there's a chance we might do more than one considering it is nighttime. Or it's going to be nighttime after we get out. Uh, yeah, the higher you go up in floors, of course, the more health these guys have, so the better weapons you really want. Oh, look at that, a broken mace. Uh, we don't really need that. It doesn't sell for a crazy amount. Oh, wait, hold up. There's a note, though. From the wear of their bodies, I would say, I would have to say these golems have been fighting here for centuries. Whatever power supplies them, it must be darn near infinite. Hmm. Very interesting. Oh, wow, okay, I'm... 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 failing right now. This is what to not do in the dungeons. We might have to, uh, cut this little adventure short simply because I am actually getting my butt kicked in here. I want to do that. There we go. 
Can't pick that up. Okay. Nothing in there. All right. We'll see how this next uh, area treats us here. With only 25 health, though, I, I am a little worried. But it's going to be something like that. Oh! We barely dodged that shot. Okay, I know what this is. And it's... Alright. Boom. So, we are now empty. Of, we, we have nothing in our inventory, right? And it's because it all got sent to the, uh... Oh, boy. Okay. We gotta kill the long-range dude. Yeah, see? Spear. You know what I'm saying? Right there. Look at that. Don't even have to get close. We can kill from a distance and it's not a big deal. Oh, please find the... Okay, this is not not what I wanted to find, but it's better than dying, I guess. I wanted to find the pond. So, it was attacked by a moving... Oh, okay. We've seen that one before. We've seen that note before. I think we saw that in episode two. Oh boy, 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 oh boy. Nope, 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 nope. We're out of here, we're out of here, we're out of here. I hate mimics. Hate, 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 hate mimics. Uh, so, wow, that was a very difficult dungeon run. I didn't do very well. And, uh, we didn't bring any potions except for the one, and I used it at the worst possible time. So, we will probably do, we'll probably go to sleep. So look at that, look at that. So see our, those two little dots in there? We have two little eggs. A uh, sentinel turret, unable to shoot, or uh, unable to shoot a constant stream of water. Um, and flying golem made to collect materials and repair golems with them. So, those guys, I think we can take those in the dungeons with us and they actually, uh, they actually fight for us too, which is really cool. So what we're gonna do is we are actually gonna have a day in the shop. We'll put, we'll, like I said, we're gonna try and do the the one day in the shop uh, and one night in the dungeons per video. And the nice thing is, is because we found that really cool chest back there, we didn't just escape with this stuff. We escaped with all of this, which is awesome. We are going to put that and that in there because we need that for selling, uh, or not for selling, for the creation of potions, which we clearly desperately need. And what we're going to do now is we're going to place everything that we know has a good price. Um, so this one's clearly going to be a hundred. cloth we have available that I know we have because that was like the very first thing we sold in the shop we also come over here we have vines for sale which sell for one these sell for 15 just fine have we figured out the price of these no we haven't let's hold off on those lenses we know the price of 100 the book we also know the price of Okay, cool. So let's open up the shop for the day. Uh, sell what little items we have. But uh, luckily, a lot of these are big ticket items to where we're going to make quite a bit of money today. And maybe we might get a robber. You never know when you get a robber. Um, you, you, you easily know when he walks in. It, it gives you a straight up, basically a robber or a thief symbol above his head the second he walks in. So, uh, it's, um, pretty, pretty obvious. I think I just lost a sale there because I wasn't paying attention. I was, uh, working on something on my phone for a second, and it was, oh, we just lost a lot of money because I think that was one of the items we had, like, nine of on the table. Yikes. 
Come on, KJ Kelly. Focus. Focus. Creature, sure I want to Alright, we got a few more items. That we know how much it sells for, and I think these we also know how much it sells for. Awesome, so now we just have this last item. We sold it for 100 last time, let's sell it for 200 here. Not a, not a bad day so far, I think we've made almost 3,000. That's an adventurer. As much as this guy looks like a, a robber, I think he's an adventurer. I don't think he's actually a, a, a robber. Uh, the robbers look a little different. He, he does look sketchy though, doesn't he? Look at him, I mean like, I would follow this guy around my store. Did that? That sold for too little again, didn't it? It did. 300 maybe? We only have two items left, so you know. Once we sell these, uh, we'll be we'll be all set. Oh, one item left. And it looks like the dude with the giant sword. He kind of looks like I don't know if many of you play many of you guys play uh, Final Fantasy, but this guy looks like Cloud. Tell me he doesn't. I mean, his hair is a little bit of a different color, but his sword on his back is definitely like Cloud's sword. Um, Cloud also makes an appearance in the game Kingdom Hearts, which is one of my favorite games of all time. And, uh, it's... I, I highly recommend Kingdom Hearts. If you guys want to see gameplay or a story or a, a series on Kingdom Hearts, please let me know, because I will do that in a heartbeat. Alright, let's see here. We, um, where's the one we lost money on? Yeah, he gave us 50 coins for the Golem Cores, and they're worth way more than that. 4,300, that's not bad. Not bad at all. So, that was kind of a short day at the shop, but let's see if we can go get the Potion Lady bought first before we do anything else, and... 500 coins, oh, 500 coins, piece of cake, yeah. I love the little construction dude, he's so funny, because whenever he expands your store, like at last episode, he's like, I know it doesn't look like we, it's grown at all on the outside, but trust me, the inside is where it's at, and like, you know, all that silly stuff. I think we need our potion stuff first. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Uh, another little trick, if you hit these trees, I believe they give you coins. Or maybe I'm just crazy. I thought that there was a trophy for hitting these trees and getting over a hundred coins from them. I may have lost my marbles, to be honest, because I guess, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. But let's see here. Let's put those over in here. I think these are the two items that we need for this. Uh, let's see here. You can also enchant your gear with her. Her name's Eris. Er Eris. Oh, a customer. Or I. Oh, you're right. She's a woman. I got. I got to do a voice. I have to do a voice, right? Maya Pop. No. Oh, wow. <coughs> okay. My apologies. It's just this book. It's so good. Okay. Yes. I am Eris, weaver and potion master. Come to the wooden hat when you need a potion or enchantment. What do you want crafted today? Potions, because we die a lot. What is this? Fireflies will guide the user to the next floor of the golem dungeon. Oh, <gasps> that's cool. They didn't have that last time I played. Reveals the golem dungeon map upon use. Fireflies will guide the user to the next floor of the forest dungeon. Oh, okay, that's really cool. All they had in here was just health potions before. So that is super cool. Hold up, so what are we trying to do here? Okay, so I think that's all the potions.
potion stuff we have. We yeah. All right. Put potions in there, and then we're gonna put the rest of them right there. I think these we need for enchanting, enchantment. This. We can enchant this. It's gonna bring our attack up a little bit, and we can not enchant that. But that's okay because our this is our main weapon. So. What are you doing, shady dude? Have you found any new culture artifacts in the dungeons, Will? I always found it fascinating how all the items we find in the dungeons appear to be from entirely different civilizations with unique cultures. I made that guy sound super sophisticated. I'm pretty impressed. Alright, let's see here. Alright, so I think the video has run about as long as I want them to be. Again, I want them to be about 20-25 minutes. Last episode we did run for about 30, um, which is a little bit too long in my opinion. I know that you guys lose interest really, really quickly. I do with most YouTube videos, so it's um, difficult. I really am recording this as late in the day as I possibly could have, and I apologize for that, but I will be posting it tonight uh, before I go to bed. Um, anyway, so this was episode three of the Moonlighter series. Uh, if you do enjoy, please like, comment, uh, subscribe if you guys are willing to do that. You know, most uh, most people when they spread the word about my uh, channel, I'm forgetting English right now. Uh, when they for when they try to spread my chan the word of my channel, they uh, will usually fire weapons in the air. And they usually, it's like a flare gun. They fly a, fire a flare gun up into the sky. Uh, and when it blows up, it, it says subscribe to KJKilla25 on YouTube. I th that's what I've heard. I don't know if it's you know true or not. I haven't witnessed it. But that's what that's what apparently other people do. So if you guys would do that and you know, want to spread the word, go ahead and fire a flare up into the up into the sky that says sub to KJ Killer 25. I'm sure that people would listen to a flare gun because, you know, they're not going to listen to me. I'm not going to directly tell you guys to subscribe anymore. I'm, 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 I'm done asking or begging and stuff. So, you know, you know, it's, it's up to you. Flare guns, super useful to help get other people to subscribe. But uh, if you do have any comments, do leave a comment, please, on, you know, improvements, um, you know, what I could do better on, what I could do worse on, or not what could do worse on, what I need to uh, really work on, and uh, any kind of games you want me to try, or any kind of content you want to see specifically. Uh, there is no shortage of time that I have that I cannot give to this channel. So do like the video, please, if you did enjoy it. Um, other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the dusty trail.